All right, uh, man, I, uh, this was a uh, pretty big score. Uh, I got this late for $50. Um, I drove 39 miles each way to get it. So, you know, if you count the gas, that's about 25 bucks worth, worth of gas. Um, anyways, this is a Logan model number 400. Oh, I don't know if it's, there we go, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it looked, I got it on Facebook Marketplace, and uh, I was the first guy to contact them. It was listed as uh, $100 for best offer, and uh, I offered them $50. I pointed out that I was missing some stuff, you know, and it was rusty. Um, but when I actually got there in person, it was actually better than what I thought because uh, it does look rusty and it, and it does look bad, but some of it is uh, like grease grime, so it's not as bad. Um, you know, a bunch of grease in there, so it wasn't as rusty as I thought. Um, so it does freely spin. This is a five inch three jaw chuck at the spins. Um, yeah, this lever is for the stop. So when you uh, turn it all the way here, that prevents, well, you gotta, you gotta pull it more, but anyway, it prevents this from, the chuck from moving if you have it pulled all the way. This, this is like kind of binding a little bit. So it needs to be cleaned up, but that works. Um, um, this is for threading. And uh, all the gears look fine. They're not messed up in any way. Um, it also came with extra gears, um, but it only came with a, uh, it came with nine gears and it's supposed to have 11. So it's missing two. I don't know which one's missing yet, but yeah. most, of, most of the gears there, that's, uh, that's nine of them in there. Should have 11. Um, here's the uh, tail stock. It didn't come with the uh, dead center or the live center. But it is intact, so that's pretty good. And uh, here's where the, where the motor mounts. The motor goes here, and then the motor here sits here with the pulley on this side, and then there's a belt that goes right there, and then there's a belt from here that goes to the lathe right there. So that connects to right there. And uh, the only thing that's wrong with this is the, uh, see, like right here, there's a lever that comes out that's broken, so I'll have to fix that. Um, Yeah, I might, I might just braze a piece of metal in there. I'm not sure yet. Um, but, yeah, it, it moves pretty good. This thing spins just fine. Well, yeah. Let's see. Well, it's kind of tough to turn, but it moves. That's all right. And um, that doesn't really seem to move. This, is, this That's to engage this drive system, but um, that's kind of seized on there. But this moves right here just fine. That moves just fine. That moves just fine, and that actually moves just fine too, so uh, it's a little tough, but uh, yeah, it does move. This one, oh, there's some slack right there. Well, yeah, so I got to work on this right here. I don't know what's wrong with it, but this is, well, there's a bunch of slop here, a bunch of slop here too, um, so, and then these move freely at least. Well, kind of, yeah. And this one is like the worst. Takes some effort. Well, actually, no. Mm, okay, well, spinning one way, that's fine, but spinning the other way is kind of tough. But anyways, uh, man. Yeah, world score, dude. I uh, didn't expect to get something like this. So I think I have a motor that I could use, like an HVAC motor that spins at 1750 RPM, right? And I think I have a pulley. Um, the only thing, it doesn't come with the mount, so I'll have to, like, make a mount for it with, like, a band strap. Um, I could do that, but... Yeah, fifty dollars. I was like the first guy. He told me when I got there that uh, there was six six guys that uh, contacted right after I did, you know. And I was the first guy to offer him. It was listed four hundred or best offer. I offered fifty dollars, saying, "Look, seems like it's not in such a good condition. Um, it's missing parts, you know. That was broken off. I'm sure he knew that. Uh, missing two of the gears. Um, it doesn't have the dead center and the live center. Um, doesn't have the tool post. You know, I didn't say all that, but I just told him it's missing some parts. It's rusty. I'll give you fifty bucks and." Uh, he was fine with that. He said, okay, cool. I just don't, he said, he does. He just doesn't want it to go to the scrap yard. Um, yeah, so you want to be the first guy for everything. Um, yeah, everything seems to be actually in good shape. Uh, a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I'd say this is really good. Uh, I missed out on a bunch of other lates that I was trying to buy before, you know. Um, but uh, I think I'm good with this. Yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty good. Um, also, um, see, that's been pretty, really. 
here. And also, the cover has the uh, um, information on the uh, thread pitch. There you go, this is the right orientation. Yeah, here's the threading chart on the inside the cover right here. It's legible. I'll have to, I'll have to remove the paint somehow without damaging the uh, the chart. Um, I was missing two gears, so I don't, hopefully those are the two that I really don't need later on if I need to do something. But, um, cool, yeah, late. That actually moves just fine. I haven't tried uh, closing and opening the chucks yet, but I'm sure that'll probably work. Not bad at all. Not bad at all.